Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. Ooh, we're starting off the Monday right, D'Anthony. Did you just uh, stretch? I did. A little bit? I had to. Do you feel like you work out your upper body a lot as we're doing the show? Yeah, yeah. all chest, no legs. And that's why you stay jacked as fuck all the time. All the time, right. brother. All the time. But you're, you're teetering. I was born with great legs. Mm. And that's something that uh, not a lot of men can say. Uh, uh, so they're mostly hairless. Oh, yeah, uh, only upper body. My entire body is hairless. Most of it is, yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you've been lasered or what's going on. Or... No, it's a it's a weird genetic gift. I only have like a little tuft of, of pubes, but uh, that's about it. How do you style them? Uh, t- with a two, I go with two, two clipper. Oh no! I thought you meant you shaved the number two end year, which wouldn't. No, make any I don't. Sense. I don't. Derek Jeter, my my ball sack. Ooh, um, yeah. Right, well. I wonder if Jeffrey Epstein did. Uh, that's what we're talking about today, kids. We've been flooded with emails and messages and DMs about Jeffrey Epstein's suicide. Uh, obviously, Evan Hafer made a hilarious video. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this week. About being Clinton sided. Clinton side, yeah. And we thought we would do a show on it. Uh, if, if you're in Drinking Bros, there is, what, 800 subgroups? There's, well, the last I checked, it was a year ago, and that was 780. So I'm sure there's 800 by now, yeah. Okay. Da- uh, Jared would know right off the top of his head because he tracks all that shit, but. Yeah, he is with Matt currently on the book tour. Yep. Thanks for showing up to uh, to Camp Pendleton and San Antoine. San Antoine this weekend. We yeah. appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. So in the meantime, before Jared comes back, we thought we would talk about this so that way we can get it all out there. Yeah. Everybody's conspiracy theories is out there. And you uh, and we're fucking, gonna do a call in show. Yeah, you dum dums have been asking for a call in show for like six months now and we're finally kind of settled in our new place. Yeah. So we have the capability to do we it. Feel so we're confident. gonna fucking do it. Yeah. We have a we have a good producer, Jamie's back there. So yeah. uh, what we will say is this. It must be interesting. Yeah, we're gonna ham horn your ass right off the line if you fuck around. You will be Clinton sided on the line and that that's what by the way, that's what the people have asked for. So when I put up this post last night and said, Hey, Instead of just messaging in to, to the Facebook group, yeah, just we'll do the phone call. Um, if it sucks, that's it, and, uh, and we'll Clinton side you, and that's, that's what the people have asked for. They're like, look, sometimes when you guys are doing these call-in shows, you get people who are just fucking way off the reservation here, and you need to end it. You should end these calls faster. So we're going we're gonna to Clinton side them live on air, and that's at your request, not ours. Yeah, don't get butt hurt. we got to get through a lot of people here, so just enjoy <laughs> the show. Don't be, uh, don't be a pussy. Uh, first up, though, before we get into these calls, we got some sponsors. Baby, this whole shit wagon to be on the air. First and foremost, talking about ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Oh, G-Bed. Oh, G- oh, G-Bed. Yeah, we like it. Actually, just got a brand new Kang. Yeah, you did. I'm going to lay my King Dong on that thing. Yeah, you're going to lay up in the cut. Your brother's yeah. here, too. Is yeah. your brother going to sleep on that bed or no? Uh, no, I would never let him sleep <laughs> on my bed. <laughs> He'll be sleeping on my queen ghost bed because... Yeah, it's, it's it's a power thing. Yeah, of course you want to have you want to have something over him. Even yeah, though if he's I, staying at your place and driving yeah. in. Yeah, if I was sleeping on a queen, I would buy a new twin just to make him sleep on the twin bed. <laughs> and here's the thing: if you haven't met Dan's brother, he's genuinely the nicest person yeah. I've ever met in my life. <laughs> um, and the fact that you're his piece of shit brother and you treat him <laughs> like shit makes me laugh to the ends of the earth. Uh, go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today. Take care of your real brothers. You know. Don't do what Dan does. Take care of your brothers, man. Uh, get him a king. Get him a king. Your brother deserves a king. He deserves a stretch out. Uh, if you're a military first responder, you get an extra 15% off. Scroll to the bottom of the page at ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Click on it. You get 15% off everything in the store. Pillows, sheets, mattresses, the adjustable bases. Um, and if you're a regular human like myself, Two hundred dollars off a Ghost Lux mattress, seven ninety nine for that bundle package uh, with the adjustable base, and uh, as always, they got uh, free pillows right now. Yeah, I, I say as always. I feel like they 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 run that a lot. They um, switched it up for a while. It was free uh, free sheets, the bed protector. They did the bed protector. Those guys are fucking awesome, man. Go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today. They got a thirty six months pay as you go program. 
no interest. No one is doing that. Um, we'll get to the other sponsors later. We'll put them in between calls because sometimes uh, yeah. calls run a little long. But before we, we, we make the first call here, um, I, I, I found it interesting that it seems like hour by hour, day by day, we were talking about on, on the news um, on the last show, that more information is coming out and it just keeps getting weirder and weirder and weirder. Now, I thought the madam was, was charged. She's uh, not been charged. She's not, no. And they found her. Mm-hmm. Uh, the press did before anybody else. On Friday, yeah. Yeah, she was eating at an in and out in L.A. Uh, it looked like the Santa Monica one. And uh, reading a book called CIA Operatives, uh, how, to, how to Kill or Stay Hidden, something like that. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? The first thing I thought of, because there was a, a friend of mine does a huge series on FX. So he hit, he hit me up when he saw that picture and he goes, you know why she's here, right? Because, you know, typically she's allegedly living in, in Boston or somewhere up that way, right? Yep. Um, she's got to be in L.A. for a book in a movie deal. You would think so. I mean, look, I'm surprised she's still alive. I am too, and out just chilling at an in and out in L.A. with a book. The, and the picture that was taken by the photographer yeah. was almost too perfect, where it was like, uh, like Jessica Simpson, who had called somebody to be like, oh, hey, I'll be at Mr. Chow's. Get, just get a candid shot of me and pretend like I don't know. Yeah, That's what it seemed like to me, of like, hey. It looks staged, yeah, for it sure. It looks staged, and it looks like you know my agents have already made the calls to the studios, mm-hmm. and I'll come in and meet you. Share a handful of crazy stories, and we'll start this pitch process now. Because if she knows she's going to prison, you might as well get that money yeah. right now. Because if, uh, if she's not charged, like you said, you said if they're charged for a crime, you can't do anything about it at that time? Well, I mean, when you're charged, you can. But if you get convicted of a violent crime, like if you go out and murder somebody and write a book about how you murdered somebody, they're mm-hmm. not, you, you can't make money off felonies like that. But before, because she's not charged yet. You could, but they're going to demand the money at some point right? right but you get that in hollywood so you get an upfront signing yeah bonus so i think <clears throat> she's trying to cash in on this and then maybe whatever studio it is is just going to sit on these life rights for a while um i remember when the obama obamas were in office you know they technically couldn't take outside money or whatever yeah. i had heard in-house because look uh, matt and i's book is with the, the same publisher uh it's penguin Ran- random house there's nothing you can do they're the biggest in the goddamn world but uh um, I had heard that that total was approaching 33 million, you know, before they left office and it was going to be signed like the day after. And mm-hmm. sure, w- sure enough, it was. So yeah. I think long-term strategy for Hollywood movies and books, they're probably looking at this as like, Hey man, this is going to be a blockbuster of a story. Let's try to tie up these rights as fast as we can. <laughs> and that's my personal guess. Yeah. Um, so we'll see what happens, but, uh, yeah, man, I saw that photo and I was like, get fucked, man. It, it was very weird. Yeah. I mean, this, I'm, lo- I'm, this looking, whole, I'm looking forward to it. This whole situation has been weird. Look, I hope that, uh, that she go, turns state's evidence, mm-hmm. gets a bunch of people locked up, and stays alive in the process. And may, they make, and th- this should be an HBO series, not a movie. Like, it should be a series. Oh, yeah. Because there's so many. Got, you could run this thing for five to ten seasons, probably, with all the dirt they have on people. And imagine the ratings for HBO if they were just taking people down, like ten people a year. Right. A year with ten up or six, if they go Game of Thrones style, six people a year, they just take them down completely <laughs> for the next several years. That would be fucking great. Well, I was I was trying to think about it. Um, the the way this is ha- unfolding in the press, <laughs> it almost feels like that show, The Circus, on Showtime, mm-hmm. where it's just like every day there's a new story, and yeah. and that's kind of their format. I think with this, you'd probably be best served. In a ten-part doc, very similar to the O.J. Simpson one that just won the Oscar a couple years ago, because yeah. I watched that entire thing on ESPN, and yeah. I was e- each one I was more shocked. Yeah, it's crazy. And I knew that fucking story. This story, I don't know. I don't know who these people are. We have our guesses, right? Yeah. Former president is probably Bill Clinton. Um, they were obviously besties because he's got that that portrait. I mean, he hung out with them at least twenty-nine times that we know of on that plane. Yeah, on that one on plane. the Lolita plane. Yeah. Uh, they've got the portrait inside of his house that they found. Yeah. They screenshot it where he's wearing Monica Lewinsky's dress, her high heels mm-hmm. in the Oval Office. And uh, the madam was at Chelsea Clinton's wedding. 
Now, this was allegedly the year after Bill Clinton said I had lost, I'd stopped communicating with Jeffrey Epstein, which wasn't true. Why was the madam in the wedding? I have no idea. Like, apparently, she, it was Pete. If somebody like that shows up with Epstein, then everybody's got to know who she is. Yeah. Right? I, I would think. Like, people would naturally ask, who's this person? In, in Hollywood or in business or in politics, oh, she's just a friend, doesn't fly. People want more information than that. Yeah. And, like, if she's ever been to the White House or a White House event, like, I don't know what, uh, what, what year did uh, Chelsea get married? I believe 2012 or 2013. So mom was a senator and, or she was the secretary of state mm -hmm. at that time. Yeah. Okay. So she would have been background checked before she was even allowed in the same room as a sitting president or a former president. Right. By but, secret service. But if you're, you know, if you're there for, if, if that's your best friend, right? Jeffrey Epstein is your best friend and, and, the, and the madam and all that shit. If you're Bill Clinton, you wave that. Hey, no, there's no, 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 really. Secret service doesn't allow that. There's no waving of background that. checks. That's out of the hands of the principals. The princ okay. principals are the people you're protecting. Wow. If they say, hey, this person's good, they're like, N no. no okay. July 31st, 2010. July 31st, 2010. So she uh, was Secretary of State. She was married. Okay, thanks, Jamie. Um, Secretary of State. Yeah. I think so, yeah. Didn't she? Hold on. Yeah, she was working for Obama. I, I'm pretty sure that's correct. July 31st, yeah, tw 2009 to 13, yeah. Oh. Fuck. Yep. So, I mean, look. Was Obama at the Chelsea Clinton wedding? Because that would have been a sitting president, and Secret Service definitely would have cleared everybody there. Yeah, I don't, I don't think he was. I don't think he was. But, man, and if you have the wild. If you have the sitting Secretary of State and a former president in the room, people, everybody who was there, Secret Service knew who they were. I'm yeah. not saying that Secret Service should have said anything, but, and she didn't have any violent crimes, so they wouldn't look. If you had, like, 90 prostitution charges, that's not going to keep you out of that necessarily. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Unless you did something violent to make them think you're going to come after their principal. But um, people knew. Oh, for yeah. Sure. Yeah. A hundred percent. Not just them, but other people in the crowd. It's like um, <clears throat> if you're into really fucked up porn and you see a porn actor that's in that shit in mm -hmm. public and you, you're like, oh, fuck. Well, how do I know them? Right. I shouldn't admit it. As soon as you realize <laughs> who it is, you're trying to not make eye contact with them. Oh, shit. That's Lena Paul. That's, she's my yeah. favorite. Yeah. I'm a jerk to you. Like you're out with your wife and kids uh, and you see a porn star and you're yeah. like, and your wife's like, oh, that, that girl looks familiar. Like, I have no idea who the fuck no that is. No idea. I no. definitely do not jack off to her when no. you're so around. So all the fucking pedos at Chelsea Clinton's wedding were like, I, have, I don't know who this woman is. You go pedo, I say pedo. Uh, it doesn't matter. Tomato, tomato, you know. I say pedo. Pedophile. <laughs> That's how the, uh, the Anglicans say it. So sure, I'm good with that. Yeah, I'm fine with it, but uh, every day, man, we get the broken bones in the neck. Uh, oh, oh, I had read something. Uh, this is to piggyback off of what you said on the news, yeah. that they were in single beds. Uh, they said no, that was untrue, and that um, he was, there, there was bunk beds in there, and it mm. appeared uh, that he had th thrown himself off of that, off the top bunk. Okay. Um, he was also with uh, another dude who was a cop who had murdered four people. Yeah, but that guy was not in the cell when he killed himself. Correct. He was not. And he said, I didn't hear anything. Um, and I was, he was down, he was next cell over, or down the hallway or whatever, and he was like, I didn't fucking hear anything. But he goes, I know a lot. And he goes, I know a lot about him, and I know a lot about what went on. And he goes, nobody's questioned me yet. And that was his statement today. So mm, Interesting. Well, yeah. We'll see what happens there then. Let's hear your theories. We'll get them out there once and for all. Uh, the first person we're calling is uh, a man named Timmy Crumbly. That's a, that's I'm gonna, a child's name. I'm going to get him on the line. Go Timmy, ahead and keep talking. Timmy Crumbly. Oh, my, I've got a little crumbly in my tummy. I don't know an adult who goes by Timmy anymore. It's, also, it's a power move, though. It is. We'll see if Timmy answers. I have a feeling a lot of people will be afraid to talk on this. Well, he's the one that's... Yeah, but that's the thing. You never know, man. People will get cold feet on this shit. Come on, Timmy. Timmy! Timmy Crumbly. Maybe he's got a crumbly in his tummy. And he's getting satisfied. Hi, you have reached satisfied feathers. Do you leave no, no, delete it. Delete it now so the audience doesn't have his number. 
I'm telling you, man. I so I had this feeling before we went on air, man. I because a lot of people left their number, and I yeah. said I said we would delete it. I have a lot. I have a I have a sneaky suspicion that a lot of people are going to get cold feet on this episode. I think everything's fun in games until uh, until you actually have to get on and talk about a conspiracy theory like this. Because I'll be honest, uh, I did one for the Vegas shooting episode, and there were some people who were just like, "Man, I." Don't want to talk about it. Uh, yeah. You know, they did, and then they didn't want to talk about it and everything else. That thing turned out, I was, I was wrong on that, man. There was no conspiracy. No, that was crazy. Y- yeah, I, and I, I was convinced because they didn't release any footage. Um, and that's the same thing with this. I think if they at least release some footage of a guard or somebody walking inside of a cell, you said this was probably unlooped and probably faked. Could uh, be, yeah. That would quell my fucking guessing game on this shit if if not if somebody walked in and murdered him uh next up we got brian buzzkirk come on brian uh where you at brian guy hello hey hey brian how are you good guys how you guys doing man we're real good i'm gonna be i'm gonna be realsies with you brian the first the first caller got cold feet Oh, really? What a bitch. Oh, man. <laughs> Drinker Bros pull no punches, so that's why um, this is the greatest the greatest group in the world. Yeah. Um so we're talking about Jeffrey Epstein today. What is your conspiracy theory? Keep in mind if if uh you go off the deep end, we will Clinton side you live on air. Oh, well first off, I'm a, a little bit on Danthony's side. They are more than welcome to come to Nebraska. There is plenty of places to bury them. Yeah, <laughs> um, and also the uh, nitrogen from decomposing bodies makes the corn grow. Yeah, better, so. Right. so you're and also feeding actually, children. Hogs will eat everything but teeth and fingernails, so that's just a quick channel lock pliers, pull those off, out, boom. Yeah, you're good to go. And we said his last name on the air, right? So just in case you're looking for him, folks. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, um, what, so I'm actually not, I mean, I think the Clintons are pieces of shit, but... I'm going to do that Prince, uh, Prince Albert or whatever over, you know, the Andrew. Yeah. Andrew, Andrew, uh, sorry, Andrew. a Prince sorry, Albert Andrew. is a pierced yeah, dick hole. Yeah. That was a pierced dick hole there. Yeah. yeah that's my yeah. bad. And I have one of those actually. That's, you know, I was rubbing against my jeans. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> is but that no, true? I was, uh, yeah. You want me to send you a pic? Yes, please. Yes. Send us a yeah, pic. Pic for thanks. proof. DM me right. and then we'll post DM it. it. <laughs> Got it. Uh, no. Uh, yeah, that guy is creepy. Uh, you know the hand puppet thing, and that that, that it was him. That's they, they that's the a, weirdest thing so him. far out of this whole thing is Andrew Prince Andrew touching women's tits with a fucking puppet of himself. Yeah, yeah, correct. And that's what my wife said. She was like, "Look, man, all the other shit. Like, I assume people did that, but when you put a puppet on your hand of yourself and you start grabbing tits, that's where I check out." Yeah, right. And the, I mean, those guys have it ton of wealth and a ton of power i mean more so than the clintons oh yes yeah. so, so let me ask you what do you think happened personally what's your conspiracy theory I, on this i actually think they had him killed i mean you can fudge video cameras and everything else the way those neck bones were broken that kind of maybe choked from behind from what i read up on type of thing you know Ah, kind of pull that, up and that, break that, that front bo- bone. Yeah, that bone break in the front is more common with strangulation than it is hanging yourself. Right. Right. So, so, so. let me ask you this: uh, with with that, are you saying they hung him from the post afterwards? Yes. Okay. Somebody went in, killed him, made it look like a suicide. Gotcha. Because he was hanging from the bedpost, yeah. and um, afterwards, the only thing that I think of is how much weight that is. Right. Because he's probably, and this is a dead serious thing, he's probably 215, 220, somewhere in there. He's, a, he? he's a big guy, yeah. It's, yeah. it's not a small man. Um, trying to lift up 220 of dead weight to get it around the top post of a bunk is... It'd be tough, yeah. It'd be challenging. Dead, yeah. weight, is, dead, dead weight in general is tough. All right, we're going right. to we're gonna, uh, go on to the next caller. Thank you for your fucking right. info. Yeah, we appreciate, appreciate it. it, Brian. Send that dick pic on over. Hey, yeah, blast, right me, on. blast me that dick pic of uh, your Prince Albert. Will do. Thanks. All right, cool. Thanks. Bye. Cool. Yeah, so the, the latest on TMZ, um, and you can take it for what it's worth, it's fucking TMZ, obviously, is that uh, the, the blood vessels in his eyes were also popped out, right, um, from the, the strangulation. And 
people were asking whether or not that was common. Uh, some people said it is. Some people said it isn't. And, uh, you know, they had said in there that uh, an unnamed source told them that he had hurled himself off the top bunk and that that's what he had tried to do last time. Um, okay. I don't buy that at all. No, I mean, look, I think uh, I can't remember who it was. Hopefully they call in. One drinking bro said they thought that um, the first attempt was to so he would get put in. He like tried to kill mm -hmm. himself, but not for real. So he would get put in protective custody to protect him from people that are trying to trying kill to him. kill him. Because yeah. uh, I mean, he's it's already been uh, uh, discussed that he told someone I don't know who yet, but. Uh, that he thought people were trying to kill him and people close to him that had spoken to him while he was in prison animated the same thing. Yeah, and a lot of people had spoken to him in prison. Uh, this is a weird rule that they have at this particular prison where if you're talking to your lawyers or any member of your legal team, you can do it for up to eight hours a day. And they do it for high profile people just to get them out. If you can afford it to pay your lawyers that much, um, you can sit in this room for eight hours and essentially just have conversation with normal people who aren't fucking prisoners and you get to get out of your cell and you're in there eight hours a day. He was doing that every single day with his lawyers. Now, one day they said um, there was a woman in there, a young, hot woman who looked like 21, 22. And she was in like a normal sundress. And she was the one in there and no briefcase, no, no nothing. And what they were saying was you should at least try to fake it, right? Uh, fake that you're a lawyer or somebody from the legal team. Yeah. They said that the, everybody in the prison knew him, uh, how fucking rich he was, and that it was just the norm, and, and they just looked past it. They didn't give a shit. So he was banging this chick. Maybe. And Because uh, the, the other thing was is they said, you know, that a prisoner had said this who was in there yeah. with, with, with both of them. He said the only person who would do that every single day was El Chapo. Um, and El Chapo had that kind of money to do it. And uh, the other prisoners and lawyers in particular were pissed because there was only two rooms like that. And El Chapo was doing it every day. Epstein was doing it every day. Therefore, it only left one room. And so normal prisoners couldn't go in there and talk to their lawyers and get uh. the same type of privileges because they were being used every day by Epstein. If he was able to fucking bang a girl inside that jail that would that would be just... that's the video i want to see i don't really care oh, yeah. about what i don't care how he died anymore i just gotta be see. a legal age obviously yeah well yeah dan yes yes you would think they wouldn't let an underage person into the prison at all though one would think i don't think you can you can go unescorted by an adult into a prison yeah I, I don't know how that works you watch it in movies and you're like i don't know There's i'm gonna call a... robert garcia yeah give it give uh robert garcia a call Old bobby garce barbie garce um <laughs> Yeah, there's always those movies where kids are in prison visiting their parents. And you're yeah, like, it's not a real thing. No, right? No. <clears throat> like an eight-year-old with a teddy bear just trying to talk to... Yeah. Hello? Robert. Robert. Hello? Yeah, welcome to Drinking Bros, brother. Come on, dude. You don't recognize D'Anthony Holloway's uh, voice? Uh, I can definitely recognize his voice. I just want to prepare myself for it. <laughs> you wanted to prepare yourself for it? Does that mean you're taking your pants off? Well, you know, sometimes you just got to be able to feel yourself real quick when you get to talk to your heroes. Oh, um, stop it. Uh, uh, Dan's not a hero. I yeah, am. We're um, assholes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the show. What's, uh, um, what's your conspiracy theory here? What do you think happened to Jeffrey Epstein? Well, I was going down a little rabbit hole the other day, and I saw that recently they were saying that there was a woman that went into his jail cell a couple hours for a couple hours before he died. Yeah, we were and just I'm talking about that. Oh, wow. Well, no, keep going. Yeah. No. yeah keep... Kind of, all right. I was thinking that that timeline also correlates, excuse me, with the three hours that the guards weren't there, so possibility that maybe she possibly did it. And the medical reports are saying right now that I can't remember exactly what the hell that word is. Uh, he had a broken hyoid, or I can't pronounce it correctly. Yeah, it's the bone near Adam's and apple they, in the front of your neck. Yeah. And that correlates with strangulation. And that's the doctors are saying that happens more with strangulation rather than hanging themselves. Yep. So who, who do you think the woman so was then? Um, and then what, you know, what was her purpose? Because, you know, clearly she wasn't the one to strangle him. 
Philly. Well, they're saying that maybe she's a lawyer, high price somebody that they haven't identified yet, but, I mean, they could have identified her by now. So I'm thinking possibility maybe she was sent in just to see how he was doing. Has he considered talking to anybody? Because he just recently got off suicide watch. Yeah, I look, th- th- that makes sense because there, there was a, and again, we right before you'd come on, we talked about a TMZ report that said there was a woman who came in in a sundress that was talking to him uh, inside the, the, the legal room, inside the, the law room. Uh, maybe, maybe she said, hey, man, uh, they're coming after you or, or you're checking out the situation, seeing what's, what's in there and what's what. Yeah. And then uh, trying to ice him later. Yeah, she could have been the one that's like, hey, here's a deal. We're going to have the largest human beings in this prison rape you forever, or you can just kill yourself. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because that's not, I mean, that's something that happens in prison a lot. Let me, let me ask you this, uh, Robert. Um, if, if you had this many powerful friends and you knew you had, you know, you essentially were going to die at this point, because I think all of us knew, you know, um, what if somebody offered and said, look, man, instead of taking all your fucking best friends down and all this shit, We'll bring a guy in to fucking hang you professionally and we'll get you in and out of there. And like, mm. you know, you, you won't suffer. It won't be any pain. 20 seconds and this thing's fucking over. Would you do that? I mean, if my choices are between having a professional do it for me or possibility of me suffering my entire life, like what I believe what Dan was saying, that probably getting raped all the time or me trying to figure out how to kill myself, yeah, I'd have a professional do it for me. 20 seconds, he'd be set up, put the rope around me, or the bed sheets, whatever he shoots, and just like that, go. Yeah, because yeah. I, I, we haven't talked about that before, but I wonder if that's a possibility where it was just like, hey, man, because the, that document dump happened on, on a Friday night at like 12 o'clock at night, yep. right? Midnight's somewhere in there. I wonder if somebody came in and said, hey, man, the document just dumped, whatever. We got to get you out of here. Yeah. You, re- you ready to go? Yeah. Because that's it. Because we heard with the Aaron Hernandez thing, it was very similar. Where it was just like, look, man, we got you off of this double murder. If you want to get that, that bonus from the Patriots, yeah, you're, he pretty you're much to off yourself. He yeah. pretty much immediately killed himself out of that. All right, Robert, thanks. We'll, uh, we'll talk to you later, buddy. We appreciate it. Look, now right. I, don't, I don't feel so crazy now that uh, the woman in the, in the dress theory is, is off. Yeah. I mean, um, shit. But I wonder who it was, you know, in the outside world or who she worked for. Who uh, the fuck knows? Maybe it's a cabal, you know, like a larger group of people. Because if you're uh, shared secrets, that's a bonding experience. Mm-hmm. It brings you closer together. Like when you and I murdered that guy together. Yeah. Um, we were very close. After yeah. That. Uh, I mean, closer, closer than being inside you. Yeah. Closer than we've ever been. Yeah. Uh, so, (laughs) um, I don't know, man. I think if you're doing fucked up shit like that and you know a bunch of other people who are, there's no way you could see that person in public and just not acknowledge it. I don't think. I don't think so either. Like if Bill Clinton saw one of the other frequenters of the Lolita airline that he's seen on there before or he knew. Like, look, when somebody, when somebody went to that fucking island and saw that picture, that painting of Bill Clinton in Monica's dress, mm-hmm. they had to know he had been there. Oh, yeah. And, it had and been that they were bros. For, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it had been rumored for years anyway. So the next time you see, run into Clinton somewhere at some function, everybody's talking and drinking, and you're off to the side just look, scanning the room. You're like, hey, Bill, I've been there too, buddy. Yeah, brother, we've all... Maybe they've got like a secret fraternity handshake, like yeah. an AKDB a- type stitch, you know? <laughs> um I don't know what they have. I know this as you're, as you're calling the next person is uh, this, the, they took a lot of heat. The Island did. It was called little St. James Island, which I, uh, you should a, sue them for copyright. Yeah, infringement, I, I feel like they stole my, my, my nickname, but um, uh, they put the, the flags at half staff after mm-hmm. he died. And <laughs> that was fucking crazy. That drew a lot of outrage where it was just like, Hey man, you just put a uh, a flag half mass for a pedophile. Well, did you see that the a serial uh, pedophile, <laughs> the Dayton shooter, his family wrote like a glowing fucking uh, obituary for him and had it published in the paper, and then the paper pulled it. Oh really? Yeah. No, I didn't see that. He's like, yeah, he was best known for blah 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 and video game. Like, no, he's best known for killing people, killing people, and being an asshole, being yeah. a piece of shit. Fuck you. I saw his toxicology report, by the way. Was he, he had- fucked up on drugs or what? Yeah, it was, it was coke. 
um, some other drug and, and a bunch of liquor. So don't blame the drugs though. No, not at all. I do drugs every day, and I haven't. Well, I was gonna say I haven't murdered anybody, but technically, that's, <laughs> technically that is true. You were paid for it though. <laughs> um, all right, we're calling David O'Brien. Now. Yeah, let's get Davy O'Brien on the show. I wonder if he goes by Davy. Let's call him Davy. Fuck him. I will. I'll call him Davy. This is America. We can do whatever we want. I feel like we can. Yeah. I feel like we're strong enough to as individuals. Davey. Oh, David. Can't hear you, buddy. Oh, you did. Look at that, dude. Moving or on. Maybe somebody just murdered him, dude. Yeah, maybe Clinton is getting to these people before yeah. we can even call him. I, better I told speed you, it man. Up. I, I, dude, I told you there, there's going to be a lot of cold feet on this show. Yeah. This one in particular. I just had a feeling. I'm calling about Nick Wit. Apparently, this guy's got a, a crazy theory. So Nick Wit. Wit. Interesting I, I, last name. W I T T E. I've assuming, never seen that spelling. I mean, it could be Witte, like Bitte. Yeah. In German. Or Witty. Witty. We'll find out. What Answer is, the phone, what you whole cock. Shit, is it? Nick. Yeah. Nick. You're Nick. on Drinking Bros, bitch. Welcome. Ah, uh, what's up? <laughs> what's up, man? <laughs> um, oh, you know, another day in hot ass California. Yeah, where are you at in California? Sac area. Where? Did you say Sac? Oh, yeah, it's hot as fuck up there right now. The Sac area. Man, that city sucks anyways, and the fact that you just called it the Sac area is even better. Exactly. (laughs) What do you do in Sacramento? Uh, I do operations management for uh, like smart home stuff, you know, like garage doors and alarm systems, that kind of stuff. Nice. Uh, so you, you look, you've you know your way in in and outside electrically a, a jail cell probably then, right? Mm, yeah, maybe. You I look like I'm looking at some of your pictures now. You look like the kind of guy that may have spent some time behind bars. Yeah, you, you get a rap sheet. Is this a uh, is this a recorded line or? It's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're live on Drinking no, Bros. No. It's fine, Nick. It's fine if you did. We don't. We're not going to judge you. <laughs> no, record's clean. Where do I find a background check? <laughs> oh man! So uh, let's hear it. What's your theory? You you've been talking all this shit, so I got to hear it now. Yeah, because in your post you said so, you want to hear my theory. Mine should be heard last. It's that good. So yeah, what, do you, what do you what do you got? So mine, I don't think the Epstein thing is as much of a the conspiracy here. I think he did kill himself because he's a piece of shit. Mm-hmm. The conspiracy is because all these conspiracies like nine eleven, all that other crap. It's all we. No one talks about it mainstream, right? Like the media doesn't talk about any conspiracies or anything like that. Now that the media is now reporting on all these weird things, I feel like maybe that's to redirect everybody from something else. So you so think the conspiracy really is like himself? a? It's a larger conspiracy of using these events to distract people from other shit. Is that what you're saying? Correct. Okay. So I, because I was reading something about you know people are thinking because he used. A different bone broke in his neck, but then mm-hmm. like, that was like on the Washington Post or something like that. Yeah, and how he couldn't have killed himself that way or something. So I was like, man, if a big mainstream thing like the Washington Post is reporting on that, is it really a conspiracy? <laughs> well, I, here's here's my theory on this. All right, because I've entertained what you just said actually, where there is no conspiracy. The guy was a piece of shit, and you know he didn't want to spend the rest of his life in jail and thought he'd off himself. And, and more or less, he was so rich and powerful that he didn't want to be embarrassed over and over and over again by a constant flood of stories. They had over a million pages of documents at the court, and they didn't want those to get out. And he was just like, man, I want to get out of here while uh, people just know I'm kind of a pedo, but not the rest of my right. awful past. Um, now, the Washington Post thing that you were talking about is interesting with the broken bone of the neck, because uh, we had talked about this on, on Drinking Bros Fake News. Uh, the other day that's 25% of people who actually hang themselves. That, that, that's pretty common, especially in older men. Isn't that what you said, D'Anthony? Yeah. Yeah. So I, I'm with you on that. Um, my last question then would be for, to you, would be what do you think they would use this to cover up then if that is your conspiracy? That's the, that's the big question because I've been thinking about it. You know, we have all this stuff with gun control now, you know, I'm California. So, mm-hmm. you know, all my ar fifteens are in hiding and we're talking about it now on the federal level, having the same sort of bans and all, you know, all the other States. And I think, uh, I don't know, just like how we use, um, 
you know, mass shootings, you know, the big conspiracy is out with the false flag where they're, the government's setting it up to ban more guns. I, I, I think the, we haven't seen what the play is yet. Ah, I think, is he, he, I think we're going to have something coming here in the next week or two where we're going to find out, ah, that's what they're trying to hide. Yeah. That's the election's coming up. Yeah, maybe. Um, you know, it's funny because Dan and I talk about it election wise. The most, the person who would stand the most to gain is Trump. If Trump isn't involved in any of this shit, yeah. you want as much of that information out in the public as possible. Um, I, the election theory is interesting because let's say those files stay sealed, right? Just for another 14 months. You get past the election because let's face it, let's say the files say that it, it was Bill Clinton and it was all these fucking Democrats. It would look horrific for them in this upcoming election season. It really would. I mean, the, exactly. the big fight going on right now is between the old school Democratic Party and the new school progressives. Mm-hmm. We, we know that the new school progressives probably can't win a national election. So if you knock off people like that are associated with that, right. with the old school guys like Biden and those guys, then the Dems are going to get their fucking ass handed to them. Yeah, and if, if this story, let's say he stayed alive and he stayed in jail and this story you know, could have, would have continued to grow and all this other shit kept getting leaked out about this case before it went to trial. It would have been really fucking damaging to the Democratic Party, especially when you're trying to put a candidate up against Trump right now in a great economy. And let's face it, Biden's fading fast. Uh, Elizabeth Warren is now taking the lead in Iowa, but she's too far left. Like yeah. she, she can't win that election. Um, with this extra shit on the Clintons and everybody else, Democratic wise, whoever would be in these files in this case would look awful yeah. for them heading into election season. So maybe, uh, look, maybe there is some validity to that for sure. I like it. There was also a bunch of exercises going on at uh, Area 51 yeah, this yeah. past weekend. Like there was some, a bunch of shit going on. And there was a lot of activity around the base, but nobody knows what the fuck was going on. Right. So maybe it was that. Uh, My personal thought on that is I think they're actually preparing for if people show up. Yeah. I mean, what they're going to do. Charlie Classic, we were talking to the other day, and uh, he he knows a bunch of people that work in the service industry in Vegas. Mm -hmm. And he was like, all the hotels down there are all fucking booked out for that weekend. Yeah. Like, are you fucking kidding me, dude? People are actually going to do this shit? It's great. (laughs) You need it, dude, with the clapping is happening. (laughs) That's another conspiracy theory show. Uh, Maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's what they're trying to distract us from. They don't want to talk about this fucking raid on Area 51 anymore. Yeah, (laughs) maybe. Trying to change the narrative. That's a good one. All right, we're going to move on. Thanks, buddy. We appreciate it, Nick. Thanks for listening, buddy. Awesome. Yeah, man. Look, the election theory to me is uh, that's a good one. Yeah, I like that. Um, Because if if all that shit did come out, right, and he stayed alive, or let's say he flipped and started talking to the feds and said, look, man, I will plead down and give you everybody who I was working with. Yeah. Everyone across the board. Um, that, to me, would be unbelievably damaging for the Democratic Party for this, oh, yeah. this election. Oh, yeah. Uh, Big time. Because who was the Democrat in New Mexico that got popped? He was with him. Uh, that Bill Richardson? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and the, obviously the, the former, governor, yeah. former president was Clinton. Um, I mean, that's a Democratic governor. Yep. Democratic presidents. Yep. Uh, you would have to imagine if you're on these, this Lolita plane and all this other shit, right? You're probably going to be hanging out with only members of your own party. I don't know, man. I've, when I worked in politics back in the day, everybody, like if you go to DC, mm-hmm. all the staffers at that level hang out together regardless of party. Really? I don't know if it's still like, because we're super divisive now. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know if it's still like that, but it certainly was back in the day. Man, I, I just, I never pictured that. I, I thought it was, hey man, we're on our side, you're on your side, go fuck yourself. Um, because if ever the two mingled, and let's say your district or somebody else found out about it, wouldn't yeah. they be pissed, I guess? But you're saying no, huh? Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I mean, I know that legislators are super antagonistic towards each other now, but it wasn't always like that. Right. Um, I think it actually, that all started with Newt Gingrich mm. and taking over the house because they were fucking brutal back then. Yeah, oh yeah. Um, I, they, were, they were ruthless back then. And Newt that, Gingrich was a cocksucker yeah, too. Yeah, he's, he's from Georgia. And that uh, Ensign, John Ensign, I think his name was. Right. He was part of that. We talked about that conspiracy theory, the family or whatever the fuck. Yeah. Uh, he was part of that. Really? Yes. 
So Man. you guys got to go watch The Family on Netflix. It's great. I'm yeah. going to call uh, this next dumb dumb Josh Brandow. Yeah, call him. Uh, before you do. Oh. oh, is it dialing? I can do it again. Yeah. Before you do, uh, we should talk about expressvpn.com forward slash drinking bros. Yeah, look, the only thing that I worry about in life is all my bank shit getting stolen. Yeah. And uh, not being able to do the wild, crazy shit that I do. Because I'm pretty reckless. Yes, you are. Uh, Very in, reckless. In life. But Very I try loose. to be responsible digitally. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So. Uh, look, go to expressvpn.com forward slash drinking bros today. Protect your shit. It's an app that runs in the background of your computer. Keeps everything safe um, all the way around. And let's face it, uh, Epstein, if he was a little more careful, maybe if he had expressvpn.com forward slash drinking bros, they wouldn't have gotten all of his info. Yeah. I mean, um, not saying you definitely should have had it, but it works on your <laughs> iPhone, your tablets, uh, your desktop and your laptop. Go to expressvpn.com forward slash drinking bros today. Seven bucks a month. You get three months for free when you sign up for a year. That's a deal. Yeah. If you're trying to avoid getting murdered by the Clintons, uh, have it running. Make sure you've got ExpressVPN so they can't see all the information you have on. Oh, God, can you imagine the phone call we're going to get from them? <laughs> hey, don't get murdered by the Clintons. Buy expressvpn.com forward slash drinker. You know what? If it works, it works. It does. Yeah, so. It does. Uh, who, do we, who do we got next? Josh Brandow. Uh, he's in drinking both sports, too. I know. Yeah. I know him. Is he well. in one of the fantasy leagues? I believe so. Oh, ax him. Yeah, I believe he is. Ax him on the phone. That's coming up in a couple weeks, man. I'm stoked about that. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Hell yeah. Hello. Hi. Hi, Josh. Hey. How's it going, guys? It's D'Anthony and Ross Patterson. How are you? <laughs> Good, good, brothers. How are you guys doing? Good, We're man. awesome, man. Hey, are you in one of the fantasy football leagues? Yes, I am. Which one, which one you did in? you end up in? in I, am, I am. I'm in the second to last, like, losers league because, you know, Ross handed my ass to me last year. I so. did. Yes, you did. You smacked me around. I got really close, and then you just beat me around like, you know, <laughs> Monica Lewinsky got beat around in the Oval Office. Who knows, you know? Well, <laughs> I, she, she looked, I, I would bang Monica Lewinsky. I would, too. Hey, you know what? Hey, she's the only living one. <laughs> yeah. I saw a meme today. I think it actually may be in, yeah, somebody posted it. Lee Lemire, who's going to be our next call, posted it. It's a picture yeah, that it says, when you suck dick so good, you're spared from the Clinton body count. <laughs> <laughs> so you I know, saw that too. You know she's like, a oh fucking pro. God, that's awesome. Oh, uh, yeah. You know you know she's got skills. That's she for sure. does, man. I shot my shot with her one night. We'll, we'll talk about that at the next break before we call the next person. <laughs> it's a crazy story. This is real, too. Um, and, that is awesome. <laughs> uh, friend of the show, Clayne Crawford, was with me. And uh, he was like, yo, man, are you you're talking to Monica Lewinsky? And I was like, I know. Um yeah, it's a really funny story. We'll tell we'll tell it the next caller. But oh, uh, no, I can't wait to hear this. <laughs> what do you what, what do you got as your uh, Jeffrey Epstein theory? All right. Well, okay. So this is this is my curveball. I think it's a curveball at least. All right. So um, you got guys like Craig Sawyer. You know, a saw man out there at Veterans for Children's Rescue and stuff doing his thing, and they're hunting down these high level guys. Right? Is there a possibility that even the one of the biggest billionaires out there, this financier? is actually a pawn for George Soros, and they just literally threw the public a bone. Did they actually do it? And it's and, and oddly enough, yeah, Clinton, it's come out, and we've all seen documents where Bill Clinton has flown more than what he claimed he did mm -hmm. and all that other stuff. But is it actually possible that the Clintons didn't have anything to do with this death, and George Soros – has or he has information on Soros and all these other leaders to the point of you know this black underworld government yeah that that George Soros and those guys were the ones that actually had him killed well, because he's got shit on them it's maybe it had yeah. nothing to do with the Clinton Th that's not a bad theory so uh, there have been a lot of big time drug like cartel level drug dealers mm -hmm. who stayed out right. of prison by feeding like giving lower level guys to the FBI or right. DEA over the years right that's definitely been a thing so and, i mean and, and by no means is epstein lower level but is it getting is the heat getting turned up on these you know hollywood guys on these politicians to the point that they said okay you know what we gotta toss out a bigger fish and we're gonna redirect we're gonna misdirect this information we're gonna toss out a bigger fish whether he's dead or not because you've seen the pictures with the whole earlobe thing and all that other shit yeah, yeah. but did they actually throw out a bigger fish and, and then the other side of it, I mean, because there's always two sides to an argument, 
Is he actually still alive? Are they keeping him sideways and getting him out of a prison where he is targeted? And there's something even bigger going on on, let's say, you know, the the light side that, you know, if there's a light and a dark side to this on the light side of it, where they're like, dude, we got to get him the hell out of Dodge, period, because we know the Clintons will take him down. You Maybe know? here's I have a couple of comments on that. So one thing yeah. about what you're saying insofar as as tossing him up there for for I, I guess bait's the wrong word, but just give people something to snack on so they'll shut the fuck yeah. up. Yeah. Um so I don't most of you should know who Alan Turing is. During yeah. during World War II he's a mathematician and he helped uh he was instrumental actually in breaking the Enigma code and that's where modern computers right. come from. He invented computers to do things faster than the human brain could do it. Right. Right. So after they actually cracked the Enigma code, they realized we can't tell anybody we cracked this and we can't respond to everything because then they'll know we've cracked their code and they'll change it. Mm -hmm. So they wrote right. a, they wrote an algorithm, no shit, a piece of math code to tell them how like the least amount of intervention they could do to win the war without letting the Germans know they had the code. Right. So you have to think with modern technology, they would be able to figure out what are, who are the fucking people that are involved in this big cabal that we, can, right. that we can give up that will generate enough hype but not expose us as an organization. That makes, total, oh, that, that makes perfect sense to me. Yeah. Absolutely. I, and, and that's just, a, I mean, you look at, look at uh, what's his face that was just on Joe Rogan a couple of days ago where they were, you know, the CIA operative and they were talking about it. And Joe's exact question was, is there stuff out there that you can't talk about that we haven't seen that even blows your mind? And he looked at him dead in the face and he goes, hell yeah. He goes, you would be shocked. And that's exactly what you're saying is, is like, do they give it just enough to just, okay, shut up everybody. Right. You know? Right. Yeah. I, the, the Soros thing is interesting to me. I haven't heard this before, but uh, the first thing that came to my mind when you said it was what if Soros was on some of these planes. What if he was exactly in some of these these uh, these diaries that were kept by Epstein yep. or whatever? Let's say he was on the island. Um, yeah. And let's say Soros was like, look, man, this you're under indictment. There's a million pages of documents. I may or may not be in there. In the meantime, yeah. we got to get get you get you the fuck out of here, bro, yeah. before this comes back I mean, to me. If we know that there's princes, former presidents, Hollywood stars, we know those names are on his list. Right. What are the names that aren't on those lists that are even bigger? Yeah. You know? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, it's it's frightening. It is scary and, and you know and and Soros let's you or not Soros but Epstein, let's give let's give the dude some credit. The dude know I mean, shit was going to go sideways. I was reading an article about a lady who went in and, you know, she saw that painting um, or whatever that's now circulating with Clinton. Mm -hmm. um, but she was talking about how she went in and there was a painting of him surrounded by like prison guards and stuff like that and everything depicting him. And he had mentioned or he had offhandedly said a comment. Yeah, that will be me someday. And it was a painting of him with all these prison guards. And it's like, oh, yeah, this guy is smart. They, like, you got to give him credit. He's smart. So he had to have kept some sort of hidden little dossier on these guys that said, I was with this guy, I was with this yeah. guy, I was with this guy. And that's where everybody went, oh, shit. Yeah, you know? I, that, that one I can definitely get behind. The one that uh, is hard for me so is I saw the side-by-side the -side body picture that's going around, right? Right. And right, now the, yeah. the earlobes look different. And, and I agree that they do. And, and the nose is, cur is curved differently as well. The, my only thing I will say about that is photos these days can be manipulated so easily oh, to, sure. to form a conspiracy theory that it's like, yep. I don't know what's real and what's fake. Dan brought up a, a good one on last show with uh, the one that uh, Rappaport had, uh, Michael Rappaport had up on his, where it was Trump and his daughter, uh, you know, Ivanka, and then they had photoshopped in Epstein to make it look like yeah. the three of them were hanging out Just with this, chilling. Yeah, yeah, with this little girl. And it was like, no, that was his daughter. Yeah. It was a separate right. picture and it was photoshopped. And, but people didn't fucking care either. He didn't take no, it down. No. Nobody cared. And that's been circulating around. And, uh, uh, you know, I wonder if we're just there as, as a nation where it, it's so either you're on the right or left. We don't give a fuck about facts and what's right anymore. Right. We're just going to post shit just to post shit and fuck you and fuck everybody else. Well, wasn't it wasn't it Bernie, weren't Bernie Sanders at a rally a couple of weeks ago that said um, it doesn't matter what the truth is. It's all about the facts. I'm like, dude, didn't that the same? Fucking no, that thing? was that was Biden. 
Biden yeah. said, so Biden, yeah, yeah, he said we we yeah. like we like uh, truth, not facts, or something like not that. Not facts. It's like, wait, that's the same fucking thing, dude. I mean, yeah. it's a, it's like what you're saying, Ross. It's it's a you know, it's it's a serious like warped mentality. And it, you know, they talk about fake news and stuff. I'm like, dude, everything now you have to sit there and put a question mark behind a picture or anything because Photoshop is so basic now to the point where I mean, look at that face changing app. I yeah, mean, yeah. hell, like that stuff is so common nowadays. Yeah. You can do anything to a picture and you don't have to have gone to school for it. You can do it. My, my daughter who's eight years old could do it. You know, like, come on. Yeah. Um, have you it, seen, have you seen the, uh, it's, there's this Instagram account called, uh, Dr. Fakenstein. Yeah. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. He's, he's been on, uh, Brendan shop show a bunch lately, but yes. he's, he's like, <laughs> he's putting Ron Swanson's face on everybody for some yeah. reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No idea. It's so fucking funny though. Uh, yeah, he's got the, like a mustache on on everybody. Yeah, just, all the yeah, members of Full House. Easy. Yeah, everybody should have a yeah. mustache, in my opinion. So yeah, yeah you know what? I'm, I'm with you on that. All right, Ross grows a pretty sexy one. So I do. I'm I going great I'm stash. <laughs> I'll, I'll have one. I usually grow one in November yeah. and in December, so that'll definitely be back. What's your team name this year in fantasy football? Uh, it is uh, Jay Brandow this year, and Ross and Dan. I will actually be out there in North Carolina, the third through the seventh, at my parents' beach house in, in Ocean Isle. So I'll try to see if I can in in out out here in Wilmington. Dude, my parents' beach house is in North Ocean Isle Beach. Okay, so yeah, just south of you guys. So uh, if you're if you're in town, roll down for a show. We're leaving on the sixth to do a live show okay. in uh, Austin, Texas. But yeah. uh, you can come in. The we, we, by the way, so you can come in studio. Um, a, a bunch, yeah, we've had a bunch of drinking bros uh, who have come into town, and we just bring them on the show. Uh, we've Sounds been doing great. that a lot, yeah, man. And then uh, you know, subscribe on YouTube, and you, you can see yourself. Yeah, of uh, course. Yeah, man. I, I, I yeah, I'm down. All right, I look awesome. Forward to seeing you guys. Well, hey, we'll hit us up when you're here, and uh, we'll we'll try to get you in for a show, my man. We'll do, brother. All we'll right, all right. You. See you, buddy. Thanks, you know, man. All right, bye. Yeah, I, I when as soon as I saw his name pop up, I was like, "Man, I destroyed him in fantasy football." <laughs> I destroyed him in fantasy football. I'm gonna go back to Davey because he put his number in wrong. Oh, I mean, I should Davey. I should just fucking put his. Does number he go in. by Davey, or are we just calling him? That? He's he's going by it now. <laughs> Somebody said you should call the Infowars office. Um, I can get Joe Biggs on the phone right now for the hell of it, and, uh, and see if Alec Jones, Alex Jones, will answer. That'd no, be hilarious. he's. I mean, I can't. We would have to turn the volume down. That'd be great. By the way, we're not opposed to having Alex Jones on the show. No, nah, that dude's funny as shit. It, I, I look at his whole shit as an entertainer. I was not amped about the Sandy Hook thing. Obviously, no. Um, I, I don't get behind any Sandy Hook deniers. No, that's just not my fucking jam. But uh, <laughs> the rest of his shit, though, is I view it as nothing but entertainment. I it really is, yeah. don't. Yeah. Um, and uh, after this, you know, this was a big Super Bowl win for him. Um, and he, he has no platform to share it on. Because he's just got his website now, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, he's got a, I think he's got a podcast too, doesn't he? He does, but it, it's not on an app. Yeah. So it's, it, you have to go to Infowars.com, I believe, to watch the show and hear it because yeah. uh, they wiped it from Apple and uh, Androids and everything else. I don't so think like, he's hurting, though. There's enough. Uh, there's enough people on 4chan and 8chan and all those places that listen to him on a mm-hmm. regular basis that he's going to do fine. I heard his, his, his listenership through his website is fucking sick. Uh, the only thing is his legal fees from those Sandy Hook families. Oh, yeah. Oof, yeah I, bet, maybe, I bet he's getting hammered. Probably. I bet he's getting hammered. All right, we're going to call Davey. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get Davey it's on It's kind of like how I've said White James so much that, that we just call him. Yeah, we call our producer White James. Yeah. For no reason other than that he's white. Yeah. That's it. There is no element to him that's like very soul or like, oh man, you no. look like you were great at disco back in the day. He could have, well, is that a, what? White James, like, oh yeah, oh, yeah there's yeah. White James. Hello. Davey. Davey O'Brien. Hey, how's it going? We're calling you Davey now, so you can get fucked if you don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, I guess I'll have to take it. I don't have much choice, do I? <laughs> nope. No, you don't. Where are you at, Davey? How's the afternoon going? It sounds like you're so in I'm ho- actually at a... No, I'm actually at a adventure park, so I'm surrounded by children right now. Oh, I, I was so going to say. A little, a little bit weird, a little bit appropriate, but it's, yeah. It sounds like you're in Hong Kong protesting against the government. That's that's what I was going to say. I uh, can neither confirm nor deny. <laughs> I mean, it's a domestic oh. phone number, but, you know, whatever. Yeah, what's, yeah uh, we, we can bat, we can mount them. Look, there, there's nothing better so, than sharing a Jeffrey Epstein conspiracy theory than at a children's water park, so yep. fire away. 
Uh, oh, yeah. So I'm still kind of convinced that he's a spook, whether he's CIA or Mossad. Um, and I'm not convinced he's dead either. I think he was extracted. Uh, you start looking at where he came from in the 80s. He had nothing. Suddenly he's rich hanging out with people. So I have a feeling he's he's been extracted. Yeah. Whether he's hidden away for trial or somebody decided to make it a little bit slower and more painful than just choking him out in a jail. So explain that extraction theory. Um, when, when has that been used in another high-profile case that you can remember? Where the government I, fakes somebody's death? Yes. I don't think that's ever happened. I don't either. I don't know that it has happened or that we've proven it's happened, but CIA has done some pretty shady stuff over the last 50 years. I mean, everybody thought... So I don't know. You, you see the pictures? See the pictures of the dead body, and there's definitely... I mean, yeah, it kind of looks like him, but there's also some differences where it questions whether it's him or not. Yeah, I, I look, we, we had said this with a caller previously that um, it's pretty easy to Photoshop or doctor photo these day, doctor photos these days. So that one I can't really yep. get behind. The, the one, though, that I will say is interesting that you mentioned was uh, that he came from nothing in the 80s and suddenly rose to all this prominence. Nobody's really said yeah, what exactly. he did for a living or, well, or how he got he, it going. He had, he had no money. Um, they started talking about, you know, they spoke for five seconds on the news about that Iranian passport he had under a different alias, and that expired back in the 80s. Mm-hmm. I in, start looking through the list of people that visited, and I'm seeing a lot of high-profile people and not really any Israelis, which almost makes me wonder if he's Mossad. Uh, what, do you, what's Mossad, Dan? Mossad is the, uh, it's the Israeli intelligence service. Ah. So it's like our CIA. Okay. Huh. Ah, look. I, I don't know. Everything about him is just shady. His whole, his, it just doesn't make sense how somebody who had no money, no name, and suddenly was running with all the circles he was. Yeah, this is, uh, and, so this happened in the 90s. Uh, the, State okay. Depart- the State Department rented a townhouse seized from Iran to Jeffrey Epstein and then sued him for subletting it. Really? Yeah. <laughs> like, what the fuck is that all about? I, man, I've, yeah. <laughs> I've, never, I've never heard that, but uh, it's unbelievably fascinating. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. But uh, I'll be curious to see, I mean, even... I'm sure even if he was extracted alive, we'll never hear from him again. But yeah, and what, what it, it'll be. I, I guess if he was Mossad, the, the purpose of being extracted would be to, hey man, you've done your job and now come back. I guess. But well, why, yeah. Why for this? Of, well, and why? Well, the only thing I can think of is they don't want to get out. I mean, we everybody's spying on everybody always has, but why would he, if he's just this weird guy, keep all the videos, all the pictures of other people? Which again piece into how he got his money it's give his blackmail whether it's one government to another or mm-hmm. maybe he just found his niche and found a bunch of freaks like himself well yeah. J. Edgar hoover did that so during the hoover administration well, if you want to call it that when he was the yeah. uh the head of the fbi he kept video audio files all kinds of shit on everybody in the u.s like politicians and business people and used it against them all the time really yep. he, yeah, it's it's the ultimate kill switch. Get rid of me, and all this stuff's coming out. Yep. Wow. I just I I loved his vacuum cleaners, and uh, I was kind of ready to leave it at that. But I'm, I didn't a, know I'm that. an Electrolux well, guy. So. <laughs> I honestly <laughs> figured Ross, you just like the guy who knew how to wear silk stockings. But you goddamn well, right. Hey, he was a chicken hawk, so that's fine. Look, if you want to dress up like a lady and it makes you feel sexy on the weekends, or even on weekdays and special occasions, yeah, uh, you do that. We support that. Let's say it's yeah. Secretary's Day. So, Ross, we support you. It's okay. If you want to have a picture taken in a blue dress, go for it. Have you ever done drag in a movie before? No, I have not. Would you? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, fuck it. Well, you should probably do it before you get your fucking hair cut off. You look like a middle-aged lesbian. I know. (laughs) We got to cut this summer Swayze off now. uh, I really am looking. Oh, boy. I look. I'm I'm starting to look like I'm I'm about to transition. Yeah. (laughs) We're going to let somebody on the cruise coming up, the Drinking Bros cruise, cut it off um, on the last nights and uh, and then just take it home. Just take it home with them. Let's do it. Test that and find out how many drugs is in this hair. (laughs) Uh, Hey, man. We appreciate you answering, Dave. Uh, this will be on Monday, yep. man. Yeah. Uh, en- enjoy your right. children's water park. Oh, we will. You guys have a good weekend. Yeah, hey, too, real buddy. quick. Do you even have kids or are you just there? <laughs> I, believe it or not, I got four kids. Somebody oh, actually shit. put up with me for four. Yeah. Okay. You and, yeah. and Philip Rivers. Hey, you? hey, Dan, has Craig called in yet for his daily call with you? No. Uh, not, okay. So I've adopted Craig Dileski. Yeah. A lot of people don't know that. Uh, yeah, there's just children screaming on the other end. Um, yeah, I've, I've adopted Craig Dulesky. I'm thinking about aborting him. 
Yeah, is well, that, you can. I, I got to see if it's too late. Yeah, Wait. Tw- 28. There, in this day and age, nothing's too late. You yeah. can do what you want. At a minimum, you know, the Hawks are going to suck, so he's got that going for him. But. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, we got to do a sports call and show. Yeah, Let these guys talk shit to each other. All right, buddy. Thanks, man. Enjoy your children. Yep, yep we'll see you. See All right, bye, buddy. Man, I, I, I feel weird doing a show about Jeffrey Epstein and then just hearing live children <laughs> know, right? in the background. Well, would you rather hear dead children? Uh, they wouldn't make a noise, Stan. You don't know, you don't know that. <laughs> you don't know that. The beauty about doing these live call-in shows is any, anything goes yeah. uh, at this point. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have one more sponsor before we get to the next call. Yeah. Raycon.com. No, no, it's buyraycon.com forward slash drinking bros. That's yeah. R-A-Y-C-O-N.com. Buyraycon.com forward slash drinking bros. Uh, that's, when, that's the headphone company. They're, they're these guys. If you're watching the video show, we'll, we'll pop them up here. You probably should have had these in um, when you're making that phone call so we don't hear 800 children in the background when you're talking about a pedophile episode. Yeah. Um, go to buyraycon.com forward slash drinking bros. These are affordable headphones. Look, we've been wearing these forever. We try to get a headphone company on the show and uh, Beats by Dr. Dre shut us down. Raycon stepped up and was like, hey man, we'll give your listeners 20% off uh, with that URL. And uh, it's 70 bucks, knocks them right, right down to somewhere in the 50s, which yep. is nice, man. And everybody wears these goddamn things anyways. Like, I see them every place. Yeah, they're all over the place. Place I go, and I was unaware. And I'm super late to the party, but I'm glad they're a sponsor because these things are fucking awesome, man. Yeah. Um, the best in wireless recharging. You just pop them in a case, and you're mm-hmm. good to go. Yep. Um, what is it, five hours? Something it's five, five, five hours, hours active, so you could listen to music for five consecutive hours, or it's 2,000 hours uh, of, of inactive time. Yeah, you can listen to all your Taylor Swift albums in a row. She's got about six or seven albums, Dan. I like Taylor Swift. I know you That's do. not a, I don't know if you tried to come, come over the top of me right there. I love Taylor Swift, so you can get <laughs> fucked. I like how everybody was making memes about her for drunk Taylor, and she was just like, yeah, it's funny, I'm drunk. Yeah. Because yeah. that's how you and I would respond. Oh, easily. She's a regular person, just like us. She is. I think there's something deep underneath there. There's, deep. A, there's a reason why she's not married. Oh, what, what do you think it is? I don't, I We're just, on a conspiracy I, I theory she's, show. It's, I, I think she's fucking crazy. Um, and well, I think, yeah, she's I think crazy. her whole image and the whole shit is contrived to, to the point of, you know, when she got outed two years ago by Kim Kardashian and Kanye uh, for that song, you know, it was just like, I didn't know I was going to be that song and you called me a bitch. Yeah. And then it turned out, you know, obviously Kim's married to Kanye and, and they're they filming the film, all, yeah. yeah, they're filming all goddamn day, the yeah. Kardashians. Kardashians are on eight days a week. Yeah. Um, there's always a camera on them. And she was like, no, bitch. Here's the footage of when you called. It was on speakerphone. And this is exactly what Kanye asked you. Yeah. And you agreed to it. And now, and then she disappeared from two years, took two years off of social media. And then she pops up with another happy album. I, the one thing I'll say to her about her is this. She's hot. And she drops bangers. Every single yeah. one of she's her a, songs is a goddamn hit. Yeah. Uh, and that's, look, the fact that she's probably secretly crazy obviously is not a deterrent to me no that is uh <laughs> so, whatever the opposite of a deterrent yeah. is for you all right this is the last one this is leela mir leela and he wrote uh a fucking paragraph i'm not reading any of that shit this is a call-in show yeah right so yeah, yeah, yeah. get it's, fucked it's, lee it's, with it's all a that call brother um it's a call um and i'll tell remind me to tell that monica Lewinsky story oh yeah i don't know if i've told this before when you do fucking 500 episodes like this you have no idea man People keep asking me what we're going to do for the 500th episode. Uh, probably butt fuck live on air. Man. Record it is what I said. Yeah, yeah. We'll definitely record it. Yeah. Um, hopefully it's Post Malone. That I'd would be nice. I think it's too soon for that, though. You think so? Yeah, because we're at like, where are we at now? 470? I don't know. We just keep recording. I don't really, I, I'm like, I'm in the Rogan camp on this one where. Um, Please leave your message. Nope. Ah, Lee. Fucked you up, fucked buddy. us, dude. You fucked us is what you did. He's probably got his legs kicked over his head and he's jacking off into his own face. Right I, I told now. you, man. I think a lot of people were scared of this, where they were like, "Man, I don't want to." No, he's not. Thing. He's definitely not scared because he wrote a fucking paragraph. He's yeah. like, he asked some interesting questions, like, "Where the fuck is Nancy Grace in all this?" Which I agree with. Where is Nancy Grace? Is she dead? No, she's not on air anymore. Um, but she, you would think she would just be recording shit on YouTube. This is her fucking she's got, I, I believe she's got a podcast now. Um, she had a weird downfall. Uh, she, you know, she was always against those top moms and all that other shit, right? Yeah. Um, and then she met a dude at a bar and got knocked up. And they, they had a kid. And um, 
she got in some contract dispute with I think it was CNN was CNN her network or MSNBC um, or, uh, yeah I don't remember I forget she had some weird contract dispute after that got a got a big head and was just like you'll never replace me and was like nope we already did yeah um, but I think she's got a podcast now and uh, I know she plopped out a kid hmm. but um, he also asked about. Uh, is there any, is, was there ever any association between this guy and Michael Jackson? But I think the, the people he was working with, Epstein, that is, are too old for Michael Jackson. Like, he's into Ooh, children, like, potentially five to eight year old yeah, children, yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah. Epstein is older. Yeah. And it, and it appears these are women and not little boys, right? Yeah. Um, in this, well, I wouldn't call them women. I mean, there were children, there were well, female yes, children, yes. but yeah, 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 I got you. Um, but but uh, definitely female, uh, dude. My Lewinsky story uh, was uh, this. In case if if I have told it, fuck off, dude. Um, uh, don't come after me. The Lewinsky story was this. Uh, she was doing her book tour in L.A. and there was a bar uh, called Dublin's, and it, uh, Dublin's on a Monday night. They put like 150 people in there. It was like super famous super mm-hmm. whatever right and i think the new guy had just come out or something so uh, i'd gotten in there clean was in um walk to remember oh yeah it was the height of like teen movies right and uh we go in there and i look across the room and there's this girl staring at me and, and he's like hey man that, that chick staring at you and i was mm-hmm. like uh i looked over and i was like holy shit i think that's monica Lewinsky." um and uh so i rolled over talked to her she got up we ended up talking for like a half hour and i'm at this point i'm all in Right. I'm I'm trying to. Did you think she was hot or you for the story? Here's the thing about Monica. Because this was just the new guy came out. What year? 2002, maybe. So this was was like just a couple of years after. Yeah. 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 That whole shit. Yeah. Yeah. So um, here's the here's the thing about Monica Lewinsky that that surprised me Mm -hmm. in real life. She is not as fat as the media portrayed her, what she looked like in pictures. Um, She's now she's a little bigger girl. Right. But nothing you would shy away from at the bar. Like, yeah. for sure. You'd be like, yeah, I'll fuck this girl. Even if it wasn't Monica Lewinsky. Now you add the fact that she is Monica Lewinsky to it. And you're like, yo, man, that turns that uh, seven to a nine real quick. And if it's good enough for the president's dick, it's good enough for mine. Right? I don't know how discerning of a poon hound uh, Slick Willie was, though. Like, that's, I, I get it from a prestige standpoint, but as a like Lin- the thing, Linda uh, Tripp and these other women yeah. that he sexually assaulted. Like, yeah. It's not like he was going after supermodels or nothing. But a beach is a beach, and it depends on where you are, right? Let's say he's in the Oval Office, yeah. and he's just like, man, I got 20. It's proximity, yeah. Yeah, somebody comes Absolutely. in and is like, hey, can I throw you a beach? You're so like, how, yeah. do, how do you then explain the Tiger Woods sitch where he's banging Waffle House waiters and shit like that? Uh, just to do it uh, for their story, because nobody would believe them. Uh, you think so? Uh, yeah, I, I think there's... You think, you think he was a daredevil and that's what it was? Like, I, he's like, no yes. one's going to believe this shit. No one will believe that, you, that your Waffle House was just and you fuck Tiger Woods. Hmm. Um, but by the way, so here was my misstep with Lewinsky. Um, she had moved. She was talking about, she was like, yeah, I'm, I'm in LA. I'm doing this book tour. And then uh, I just bought a place in New York. And I was like, oh, wh- where at? I was like, I went to NYU and I you know, just came out here a couple years ago. I was like, I know it pretty well. She's like, oh, Greenwich Village. And I was mm-hmm. like, oh, fuck. That's where I was. I was like, where, 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 what block? It was literally, I mean, two, uh, one to two blocks next door to mine. Like, mm-hmm. I couldn't believe it. So shocked. She was like, oh, do you know that area? Well, I was like, yeah, that, that's my, I did everything there. And I was like, there's this amazing grocery store and there's this, there's this great Thai place down mm-hmm. the street. And I was like, there's an amazing dry cleaner. And I was like, it's only $2 for like shirts and, you know, dresses and shit like mm-hmm. that. <laughs> Stone cold, every because she was with her friend now at this point. I'm with. She Clayton. thought you were making a reference to the dress. Yes, and and I. Jesus by the way, Christ. I'm just saying completely yeah, yeah. what is in this neighborhood yeah, yeah. on your square block because that's you kind of stay within your block and your thing or whatever. And she was like, "Oh, I mean, it was just so audible." And she was like, "It was nice meeting you," and bounced. And I was like, and I turned to my buddy, and I I didn't know it. Did it take you a minute to figure 100%. out why? Yeah. It took like two minutes, man. And I turned, I turned to Clay and I was just like, yo, what the fuck? And he goes, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> and I'm like, what? And, and, and he goes, I don't know. You just told her where, where your, your favorite dry cleaner was? Like, that, why, why would that come to your mind? And I was like, because I get my fucking shit dry cleaned, you know? Yeah. Like, and he yeah. was like, yeah. But for, and then I, it, it dawned on me. And at that point, I'm bright red. I'm embarrassed as shit. And I'm trying to fight whether or not I can go over 
and say I'm sorry for something that I didn't know yeah, that yeah. I was supposed to be sorry about. And then ultimately her and her friend just ended up did leaving you, like five minutes Did she later. know you knew who she was? No, but I think at that time, you just assumed like, I think she assumed that everybody knew well, who that's she was. Why, she was yeah, so yeah, yeah. famous. Yeah, I'm at the, the reason I'm asking is, do you think it would have worked if you would have gone over and been like, oh, I didn't even know that was you. Like, I just thought you were I thought, hot. I thought about that. I just thought you were hot because yeah. that probably would have, it, it would have gone one of two well. ways. And my buddy was just like, dude, leave, leave this alone like that. You're, oh, no, you should have chased it down. You're I would have chased it no, down. No, he was like, you're all done tonight. That's, that's Clean enough. said that. Yeah. Well, he's it, super uncomfortable with male nudity. Yeah. Yeah, he is. So I feel like we need to do something to him. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> but yeah, he was like, you're all done tonight. You shot your shot and, uh, and that's it, bro. Well, you've got a good anecdote if you see her again. Like, hey, uh, do you remember... I'm I, by, by the way, I've been dying just to get because you, you ever have those moments in life you feel so embarrassed about that you wish you could go back and tell the people, hey, man, this was totally not what happened. That's uh, one of them where I'm I don't like, I don't I, feel things like that. But, yeah, I understand what you're saying. I do. Because I look, look, if she she probably went home, she was like, motherfucker, am I going to hear this the rest of my life? Yeah. Yes, you are. But uh, I didn't want to be the asshole who did it because it, was, it wasn't intentional. I know when I'm intentionally being an asshole. Yeah, yeah. And that definitely was not one of those times. But uh, I was all in on the whiskey, man. Uh, that would have been the best story of my life. Yeah. I mean, didn't she? She dated Tom Green after that, right? I don't know. Or some uh, shit but like Tom, that. Tom Green got around, surprisingly. Man. Like, he was married to Drew Barrymore. Do you remember that yeah. shit? How crazy was that, that he was pulling Drew Barrymore? It's not any crazier than uh, the song You Ought to Know being about Dave Coulier. Oh, by Alanis Morissette? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's, that's... Or, uh, what's his name? Ryan Reynolds used to be uh, with, with someone. Yeah, he used to be with Alanis Morissette yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. So that's, They're Canadian. They were like the, the two most famous Canadians. Like, I get that shit. Really? Yeah. yeah. I understand it. So if you're like, if you, if you and, uh, I don't know, like Deborah Winger were the two only Slovenian actors. And yep. I'd be with Deborah Winger. <laughs> <laughs> Love lift us up where we belong. I, I would uh, <laughs> officer. Yeah. I would officer and the gentleman, Deborah Winger. And I'd be fucking happy about my life. I don't know too. why I even thought of the name Deborah Winger. <laughs> <laughs> Classic winger. That's a classic winger move there. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah I'd, I'd, be, I'd be fine with winger. You yeah. Because uh, I think that's what happens to people like that, where, you know, they have those awards in Canada that are kind of like the Grammys or the Oscars yeah, yeah. or whatever. And it's like, at the time, yeah, it was Ryan Reynolds and Alanis Morissette. And they were a Canadian powerhouse together. A two. Canadian powerhouse. What's the, what's the exchange rate on that? Because <laughs> it's not great. <laughs> I don't think... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Oh, Ryan boy. Reynolds has ran, ran through some trim, man. Because he was married to Scar Joe, Scarlett Johansson. Yeah. Now he's married to Blake Lively. Blake Lively is a perfect human being, I think. And, and the nicest person of all time. Yeah. She like she's, accepted. She's super like, nice yeah. and super hot. Yep. And funny. Yeah. Her whole family is... is not, I worked with her sister on another yeah. movie. She's uh, probably a murderer. Robin Lively. No, definitely not. There's something going on with nope. her. Just no, the, no one is genuinely that great people. I don't believe that. Dead she, serious. I don't believe it. Weird. Uh, whenever, whenever somebody's too nice like that, I'm, I'm the same way as you. Where I'm like, all right, you've, you've got a bag of toenails in the closet. Yeah, or little shoes. <laughs> what are the little got a shoes? collection of little shoes. <laughs> <laughs> what are the little shoes for? I don't know. We'll have to fucking ask Blake Lively because she's got a collection of little shoes. <laughs> oh, fuck. Um, well, we're going to kill this episode like uh, the Clintons... <laughs> Yeah, killed. Thanks, guys. We didn't have to Clinton side anybody. No, we didn't. That was nice. Yeah, thanks, thanks for not being dicks, guys. Yeah, absolutely. There was one. There was a one Colin show that we did that was just brutal. Where it, one after it was it the sex was, story thing or which one was it? No, no, that one was good. That was a good one. I, f I forget which one it was because we try to do them, you know, once every few months. Yeah. And uh, there was one where man, it, it was uh, a guy sounded like he was on top of of, of a trailer and uh, screaming through a tin can about something mm. and. You were just like, man, I, I have nowhere to go at this point. Well, what are you going to do? Yeah, we're, we're going to go home. Yeah. Um, but uh, <laughs> subscribe to the channel on YouTube. This episode will be up. They will definitely demonetize it. Um, <laughs> swear to God. Any conspiracy theory? You know, oh, that's yeah, one yeah. of their main rules. Yeah. Um, so we'll have to name it 
I don't know, something different about Jeffrey Epstein. Uh, but uh, leave your thoughts in the comments um, about what conspiracy you think is going on in case we didn't get to you today. Um, and in the meantime, look, m me personally, I think there's just a, a treasure trove worth of info that's just going to keep coming out. Yeah. Uh, that's going to keep us busy for a long time. So uh, I'm looking I'm, forward to it. I am too, man, because this is one of the most fascinating stories that's popped up in a while. I can't remember somebody who is tied into this many rich and famous people going down for something where everybody's shitting their pants of like, oh, no. Well, I think people were, their buttholes got pretty tight when Weinstein went down because so many people had been ignoring it yep. for so many years. Uh-huh, 100%. But it wasn't like other people were involved in the actual crime like this. Right. This is way different. A hundred percent. And so, and they do have records somewhere, over a million pages of documents or somewhere because they've been putting this case together. So I think they should just put that shit on the internet. Same. And I think somebody will. Yeah. That's my prediction. I think somebody will go in there WikiLeaks style and, and grab these files. The and, problem and is them. people are fucking dumb. Just in general, people are dumb. And look, just because Epstein wrote something down on paper doesn't mean it's true. Right. Right. Like there's, that's the reason that I think it's going to be difficult to prosecute some of these people now because mm -hmm. you don't have corroboration or piece in the timeline together. But I would like to see the information. The plane logs you can't fake, though. For that I mean, Lolita plane. No, I mean, you can fake plane logs, but it would be like that's a federal crime. It is, and, and it doesn't happen very often. Yeah. Uh, you know that's how Bezos got popped. Yeah. Jeff Bezos. When he was cheating on his wife yep. with that girl, and uh, the wife came in and was just like, why is this girl always on these fucking plane logs? I don't know what you're talking about, honey. $37 billion that cost him. So. Oh, no, I thought it was $70 billion. Uh, maybe, Thir oh, yeah, 37 she, is the amount she, she gave to charity. Yeah, you're right. You're <laughs> Just right. to piss Ooh. them off. <laughs> uh, fucking plane logs. You know what would have been down funny? That marriage. Like, I'm glad that she uh, gave that money to charity, but it would have been equally funny if she had just like gone out in her front lawn with 37 billion in cash and burned it right in front of him <laughs> like here you go buddy fuck you fuck you and your hard work dude but thanks for amazon prime yeah yeah that's a nice i've thing. ordered like two thousand dollars worth of shit out there in the last two weeks so yeah go uh by the way go buy matt's book on there thank yeah. you for my service is now available it's out so if you order it today you'll you'll get it uh tomorrow man Hardback will get us on the New York Times bestseller list. Yeah, next week is the last week for it to count towards the opening week. So Correct. You have six days after this yep. to, uh, to make it count, and we appreciate it. For D'Anthony D'Anthony Holloway, I'm Ross Patterson. This is the Drinking Bros. Good night, everyone.